Hello and welcome to the Producing Urban Asylum website. This is the first of a series of podcasts based upon this three-year um, research project. The project is funded by the Economic and Social Research Council and sets out to explore the ways in which we can understand the negotiations of dispersal in the UK for asylum seekers. That's the system whereby asylum seekers are taken from um, initial entry points into the UK and relocated to a series of towns and cities across the country. The project really sets out to explore the impacts of that process on four cities, Birmingham, Cardiff, Glasgow and Sunderland. And what it hopes to do really is explore the practice of dispersal, of how dispersal is understood and undertaken differently in these different urban contexts. A lot of the research that's been done to date on dispersal has tended to look at it in a very top-down focus, looking at it as a national system. And what I'm concerned with in this project is looking at how different cities understand that and what difference it makes um, the kind of system of local histories and local politics. So the project has two central aims. Firstly, it wants to look at the experiences of asylum seekers who are dispersed to these four cities, thinking about what difference it makes if you're dispersed to somewhere like Glasgow or somewhere like Sunderland, for example. And this will involve thinking about the local histories of these towns and cities and also thinking a little bit about the local political context, the histories of political activism, of migrant rights, all these kind of things that are going on in these cities. And then secondly, the project aims to explore the ways in which a series of policy shifts around dispersal have impacted these different cities. So this is a move increasingly in the last three or four years to take asylum housing away from local authorities and from social housing in particular and to place contracts with private providers so that asylum seekers are accommodated in these cities no longer in, um, under local authority um, provision but through private housing accommodators. So I'm interested in looking at how cities negotiate this policy shift and what impact that's had in these different places. So who will be involved in this project? Well, a wide range of different actors are going to be um, taking part, hopefully. So people like local authorities, um, housing contractors, service providers, refugee community organisations, refugee support and activist movements, advocacy groups, and of course asylum seekers themselves, hoping to get a sense of the voices of those who are actually dispersed and thinking about their experiences of being in these different cities. And what are the hoped for outcomes? Well, there are three key, key, key things to highlight here. Firstly, there's a focus upon increasing our understanding of the way that dispersal is actually practiced, not as a kind of top-down system, but as a series of everyday negotiations on the ground between housing providers, local authorities, um, service providers, and those who are dispersed. And linked into this, I think there's a series of ways in which through increased understanding, we can look at the effects of dispersal policy so as to actually improve policy making and decision making, both at a local and a national level. And then thirdly, it's hoped that there will be a whole series of positive stories to come out of this process in terms of the positives of dispersal to different cities, the kinds of good practice stories that we can think about coming out of these different cities, and also to consider how cities might learn from one another and also inform national debates about asylum. To take asylum away from the kind of negative stereotypes that often uh, beset the mainstream media and to think about different stories that come out of the practice of asylum at an urban level. So thanks a lot for taking the time to come to the Producing Urban Asylum website. Hopefully you've enjoyed this first video podcast. There'll be further ones um, in the future looking at the initial findings of the research and also I'll be updating the project blog with progress as the um, research gets underway. So thanks a lot and hope to speak to you again soon.